Hi everyone, this is Fernando and welcome back to my channel The Fair Show. I can't believe that this will be my last prediction videos for this year's Eurovision season. And today I am going to predict the countries that will be in the bottom five. And this is Eurovision. Eurovision is a fun contest. So let's take everything with a pinch of salt. This is a game. No hate. Let's have fun predicting the bottom five countries. And I hope that you will leave a comment with your countries that you believe that they are coming in the bottom five. So let's have fun and let's start. First, my first prediction goes to Germany. Malik Harris and his entry Rockstars. I'm gonna be honest with you. I do love this entry. It's chilling. It's a song that I enjoy listening to. And honestly, I don't believe that this entry deserves to be in the bottom five. However, I do understand that many people are not connecting with this song. The staging is average and it's performing after Ukraine. And also it's performing number 13. And number 13 normally is a lucky number. So I don't know. This is what I believe that Germany unfortunately will be in the bottom five. I think we heard worse songs from Germany, but it is what it is. And someone needs to reach the bottom five, right? So another country which I believe it will be in the bottom five, it's Monica Liu from Lithuania and her entry Sentimentai. I have to admit that I never connected with the song and like me, there are a lot of other people who don't connect with the song. The fact that this entry made it to the final from semi-final one, she is already a winner. She wasn't a surprised qualifier because it was always a borderline qualifier. Most probably she came ninth or 10th in semi one. And I do believe that during the grand final, she's going to struggle to climb in the middle. And for this reason, I think that Lithuania will be in the bottom five. Another entry, which most probably will be in the bottom five, it's Iceland, the Groom, Sistur, and their entry, Moi Hatur Suai. I'm being honest with you, I always struggle to talk about this title because it's very, very difficult for me because I don't speak Icelandic. I mean, this is a wonderful ballad with a wonderful message behind it. And for me, this was the most shocking qualifying entry from both semis. So I was really shocked that Iceland made it to the final. However, I'm glad that they made it because their song is okay. I did really enjoy the performance in semi-final one. So I do understand why this entry qualified. However, I think this entry will struggle to climb in the middle and even in the top 10. However, again, I think that this country won a lot. The fact that they qualified for this, I can chile them and let's see what happens during the grand final. Another entry, which I believe will be in the bottom five, it's Romania, their entry, Liamame by Wurs. And I have many reasons why I believe that this entry will be in the bottom five. To start with, it will be sang in what's so called the dead spot, the second song in the evening. And normally EBU puts a weak song in spot two. So there is, that is the first indication that Romania most probably was the 10th entry to qualify. Secondly, during the semi, I realized that his focus can be weak. There's a very, very good performance. I love his performance but his vocals are weak. And for these reasons, I believe that by the end of the show, this entry will be lost and forgotten, and most probably it will be in the bottom five. However, again, I believe that Romania won a lot. The fact that this year the, the big five countries are, have really, really, really strong entries, and the fact that it's been three years since Romania qualified, I do believe that they deserve to be there because Eurovision is all about bringing joy, bringing hope. And after three years, Romania deserves to be in this final. So well done, Romania and good luck. And the fifth and the last country that I'm predicting that will be in the bottom five is Belgium. 
Jeremy Makase and his entry miss you. I have to admit that I was hoping that this country will not qualify because I wasn't so happy with the performance both during the jury show and both during the semi. However, Belgium was very strong. I really, really, really love the studio. So I do understand how and why Belgium qualified. However, again, I think that there are many stronger entries than this one, especially stage-wise. Most of the people watch Eurovision for the first time on Saturday during the grand final. And I do believe that for this reason, Belgium will struggle with both the jury and the public vote. And hence, I do predict that Belgium will be in the bottom five. So, as I said in the beginning of this video, no one should be offended if one of your countries is in my bottom five. At the end of the day, Eurovision is a game. Let's have fun. Comment your predictions with the bottom five. Let's see what happens and enjoy Eurovision. Enjoy the grand final. And I hope that your favorite song will win this year's contest. See you soon.